Okay, so here's a question for you. Have you been showing up on set with the best set of tools to help you maximize the lights that you're bringing with you? And I feel like we get so caught up in the lights themselves that we often overlook the importance of modifiers and helping us to maximize those lights. And today I wanna to talk about one of my all time favorite light modifiers, something that basically shows up on almost every set I go on, and that is a spotlight fixture. Now, if you don't know what a spotlight is, we're gonna go and we're gonna talk about it today and show you just how powerful a tool this is. Now, I wanna talk about this one specifically today. This is the iFootage 40 degree Bowens projector spotlight. Now, full disclosure, iFootage did send me a unit for review, but they do not get to see this. I'm not getting paid in any way, shape or form for this. They just wanted me to test it out. I was really actually excited to get this because iFootage is a company that now makes lights, they make great monopods, just a really quality company. So once I saw this, I knew it was gonna be really excited to see because iFootage is just one of those companies you can kind of trust, everything they do is so well constructed, it's a really fun thing to check it out. But today what I wanna do is I wanna show you what a spotlight is and I wanna show you some of the tools of it and why this iFootage 40 degree spotlight projector is such a powerful light. Now, the first thing you gotta understand when you're talking about controlling the light is the tools that come on there. And projectors have a lot of awesome tools on there. The first thing is, you'll see this is a 40 degree Bowens projector spotlight. That means you get a 40 degree of light from it. But there's a knob here at the top that allows you to focus it. And if I just turn this around, I'm gonna turn it around here just so you can see it. But you can see just how focused that beam of light is. And as you can see, it's a perfect spotlight. And I can actually tighten it or more importantly, I can focus and defocus the light. This is a very, very important process because this lets you really start to get that control. If you want really hard lines like this, you can focus it tight. If you want it soft, you can. But the focusing aspect is only one part of the spotlight that is very, very important. The other thing is your ability to cut the light. And when I say cut the light, check this out. If you look here at the spotlight itself, it has these tools and these tools allow you to cut. But if you look here, I can now control the light and I can do these cuts to the light. And this allows me to get very, very, very precise lighting. This really becomes important when you start bouncing the light, which is what you really wanna start using this spotlight for. I'm gonna go and show you some examples of that in a minute. Now, the ability to cut the light so precisely, even if the, that was all the spotlight did, it would still make it one of the most important tools on your set. But luckily, Man, these spotlights have more tricks up their sleeve. And if you look at this iFootage one right here, it has a slot holder right here, which means now you can start putting things in between the light and the lens. And really where the most important thing comes down to is going to be gobos. Now gobos, in case you don't know, are small little metal circles that you can put in these little slot holders that go right here, and it allows you to start putting patterns on walls. I wanna show you where this really comes in powerful. So I can take this gobo right here, and now the good thing about this iFootage set, it comes with 12 random gobos. So you've got all kinds of creative options. I'll go ahead and put them up here on the screen behind me so you can kind of see what they are. But when you sit there now and get a gobo, what happens is you can just take it and insert it here into the slot holder. And as you can see, you can rotate it so you can get whatever kind of angle you need there on the slot holder. And then all I have to do is I just slip it right in there. But now if you look when I come back, I have got a pattern on the wall behind me. Now, this is obviously very close, so the pattern's a little bit smaller. I can make it bigger or smaller depending how close or far. But if you look here, what I love about this is I can make that pattern super sharp and crisp like this, or if I want to, I can make it soft and out of focus. This gives you an unbelievable freedom of adding texture in your scenes. And just to show you how these gobos kind of work if you're not right against the wall doing a demonstration, you can see here, this is kind of a classic interview situation. And I've got the gobo, I've got it over there, and it's projecting this nice kind of texture back on the wall. And if I cut it off, you can see just what it takes away. You know, I can take this boring blue wall and I can just add a little bit of texture and style to it. And the good thing is if I'm interviewing someone or someone's talking, because it's a spotlight and I can spot it in so precisely, I can move around. I don't interfere. I'm not interfering with my background light. <laughs> so if you find yourself doing a lot of interviews in places that have boring walls, 
white wall, stuff like this. This is a way to add a little bit of kick and texture to it and separate you from the other people out there that are shooting stuff like this. I'm gonna demonstrate just how versatile this light is. I came in the tightest space I could find, which is a hallway. And if you look, this thing is barely four feet wide. And this just shows you just how flexible and powerful these spotlights can be. Now, so the first demonstration I did is I basically imagined myself here in a spotlight. And I'm gonna basically go ahead and cut it off just so you can see just what a difference that makes in the hallway. And I basically turned it into an over overhead kind of skylight type source. Now, the good thing is because I have those doors, I can, can control the source of the light. These walls are kind of a brown, so I didn't want the light to touch it. I didn't want to contaminate that. I wanted it to be just on the white ceiling and I was able to do it. But let's say you don't want to go so top down. Maybe you want to go more side light. Well, I'm in a tiny little space, but actually check this out. Like I said, it's very easy. I can just take a white board. Let's say I'll put that right there. I'm just going to put that up right there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on that. And even here on the wide shot, now that I can control these doors, what I'll do is I'll start to bring it in and make it so that I only hit the parts of the door that I want. Something like that. And now what I have is I have a situation where the light is now coming from the side. Now I'd probably bring this up a little bit higher, maybe something like this just to pop it up a little bit. But the key is, I'm able to take this tiny little space and I'm able to get a big light source. And what this allows you to do, the spotlight really lets you kind of supercharge, honestly, any Bowens mount light you have because it can take any light and turn it into big source because you can spot it onto these big kind of big bounces and makes your light softer and makes your life look more quote unquote cinematic, which is the big thing that we look at. So it's the flexibility of these lights. It's the ability to get really complex lighting in really tight spaces that's very, very important. As you can see, I'm sitting here talking and I'm not getting any of that light because of how I'm bouncing it. So I'm able to do this and it looks like a more natural kind of lighting setup. But once again, I'll pop off the light just so you can see. What a dramatic difference this makes in a scene. I can pop that back on and do it. And you know, I have an, and I'm doing this fast. So you can really dial this in and get it really, really precise, which is what makes the spotlight such a powerful tool if you're gonna go out there and do it. And the small size of this little eye footage one is really, really handy. Now, as if the cutting and the gobos by themselves weren't enough, this little spotlight actually has even more tricks up its sleeves. Now, iFootage does send you this little gel holder that goes right here in the front. You can kind of pop it here in the front, just like this. And it'll basically allow you to put this on there and you can put different colored gels in front of your light. Now, there's five colored gels that come with the kit, but this means if you have a non-RGB light, you can actually make it red, green, anything like that. This gives that kind of stagey feel. It's just a nice flexibility. But my favorite accessory is actually this. This is an eye footage iris ring that is coming out. Now, what's great about this is you can take it and just like an aperture on your lens, you can open it or close it all the way down. And that means you can take something like this 40 degree light right here. And if I put this in here, and if you open and close this, you can see just how precise you can get it. This means you can really sit there and get exactly what you want. And the good thing about it, even if you have the iris ring on, you can still continue to get that focus or softness depending on how you wanna showcase the light. So just a really, really powerful fi fixture that really lets you highlight and spotlight things. It's a really awesome thing. Really, if you're gonna get a spotlight, go in and get this because you just wanna have that control. It's a control tool and it's something you're gonna wanna have. So as you can see, this iFootage 40 degrees projector spotlight brings a ton of flexibility to any set you walk on. One other thing I really like about the iFootage one, it actually comes in this little bag right here and it's really nice and small and easy to can get. I can get in a Honda with this with no problem. And one thing I've discovered in the past about spotlight fixtures is they tend to come in these huge cases. So having a nice portable bag that you can get in there, keep it safe, but also easily get in and out of your car makes it that much more likely you're gonna end up on the set. And that's really how I wanna kinda of conclude about talking about this is that one good thing about any kind of these spotlight fixtures like this is this 40 degree projector is one of those things that it's a legacy thing if you buy it. You can use this with any Bowens mount light. It doesn't have to be an eye footage light. It can be an aperture, it can be a Godox, it doesn't matter. But what that means is I guarantee you this spotlight will outlive the lights that you're using. You can use it for years and it's one of those tools that I guarantee you'll want on every set you go on to. Anyway guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say with this. Leave me any notes and comments down below. And yeah, go out there, keep on shooting and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.